Hello friends, this is Akhilesh from DataSense. Hope you are doing well. Today we are going to discuss different kind of filters in pivot tables, how we can apply them and which one works better. You can see here there is a report which says sales by salesman. So in the first report, if you want to ignore the item which are lowest like Bob is doing the lowest sale and then maybe Rajesh is another guy. So Bob and Rajesh you want to ignore from the list. So simplest way is select Bob and Rajesh and when we right click you will find filters and you are getting some options here. Keep only selected item or hide selected item because we want to ignore them hide selected items that's one way second way is i will clear the filter for now second way is if you click on this drop down next to salesman you will see the list of all the salesmen here check boxes are mentioned against each and you can select whatever you want third way is if you see here this label filter this is there for text kind of fields so you can mention something like equal to some value does not equal to begin with and there are so many options which are fitting for text like if you want to say that i want to keep only the salesmen which are having a in their name so i can go for contain and something which contains and i will type a here when i click ok you can see that any name which is having A in their spelling is mentioned. Sometimes not based on text, you may want to filter based on values. So when we go into the drop down again, you will find value based filters. And the value based filters you can see here does not equal greater than so many options are available which are particular to the values. Let's say we want to keep only top 5, so you can go for this section top 10 and here you can select top 5 items. This top can be transformed to bottom also by sales. So when I click OK, you can see only top 5 items are shown. Now let us look at the next kind of filter. You can see here there is a section, this box in the pivot table field list, which is saying filters. So you can bring country here in this box. And as soon as you bring it here, you will see country is mentioned above the pivot table also. Currently it says that all the countries are shown. You can click on this drop down and let us say I want to show only India sales. So when I click OK, you can see these are the salesmen which are particular to India. You can select multiple items also. So let's see India plus USA. So these are salesmen from both the countries and here you will see multiple items. Now I will show you another method. I will remove this country from filters. By the way, in this filter section, you can add multiple fields. Now, next one which I am showing you is known as slicer. So when you right click any field, again, I'm we will do it for country. When you right click country, you will find add as slicers. When I click on it, you will see this window to select anything. Currently, when all of them are blue, everything is selected. That means it is showing all the countries. But if we select India, only salesmen related to India are shown. We can show USA and you can see this is very easy to use in comparison to previous filters which we just discussed. This filter icon, if you click, it will clear all the filters and it will show everything inside the pivot table. If you want to select multiple items using control key, you can select another country and it will show both of them or multiple of them. If you don't want to use control key, 
then you can see this icon you can click on this icon now multiple selection is allowed without control key so whatever you will select or select again will be remembered okay so you don't need to use control key if you activate this icon 2016 onwards this icon you can find in the slicers but in 2013 version of excel you have to use control key sometimes it may be possible that you don't have enough space to show all the countries vertically so you can change the properties of the slicer you need to click on the slicer you can go to options in the setting and here you can see number of columns currently shown is one you can increase it and it will show in two columns so depending on how much space is available with you you can convert it into those many columns or rows you can also change the properties of the slicer in terms of style like i want to show this yellow orange okay or gray color whichever you like you can select from these styles then you can see here that whenever we are clicking anything in this slicer it is only operating in the first pivot table when i click in the first pivot table and when we go to analyze on the left side you will find the name of the pivot table and currently it is known as pivot table one this name can be changed as per your requirement if you click on the second pivot table you can see the name is pivot table two now when i click on the slicer and if i go to options again and you will see on the left side there is an option of report connection when i click on it it will show me all the possible pivot tables which can be linked to this slicer and you can see both the names are shown and there is a checkbox next to pivot table one which means pivot table one is already in touch with country slicer and we can select pivot table two as well and we can click ok now if i click any country both the pivot tables will change so this is really good way of using filters because earlier when we were using normal filters in the box this box we can only control one pivot table to control multiple pivot tables slicers is the best way i will delete this slicer for now let us assume that you want to insert two three slicers region country and years so one way is right click and then add a slicer for all the three fields but that will take a lot of time because you have to work three times so another way is go to analyze and in the analyze somewhere in the middle you will find this insert slicer and in the insert slicer you can click on years you can click on country you can click on region and when you click ok you can see all the slicers are mentioned here and both of them are connected to first pivot table only the play pivot table from where you went inside the analyze and insert slicer so for each of them you have to go there and say report connection and you have to take another one years report connection and like that you have to do it for all of them okay so that's all about slicers there is one more kind of filter let us discuss about that so when you go into pivot table you can see that there is a field in our data which is date you can see it here dates so when you go inside analyze you will find that there is another filter known as insert timeline how does this help us when we click timeline it will only show the date fields and when we click ok you will see it is showing data from 2019 till 2021 you can convert currently it is by month but you can convert this based on years so you can click on this 2019 and data is changed to 2019 2020 2021 we don't have data in our pivot table you can easily drag it to to cover everything you can say that i want to go for maybe quarters so you can 
see here from 2019 I want to select quarter 2 or maybe quarter 2 and quarter 3. You can go for months also. In quarter 2 and quarter 3 I want to only show May and June. This kind of filter is good for only date related fields. That was all about filters in pivot tables. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share and subscribe to our channel. Thank you very much.